Hi everyone. Well, I'm back at a little gem of a fishery, a club water up here in Yorkshire, not too far from Huddersfield, Sheffield and Barnsley, and not too far from the M1, who's for anybody that's travelling from the north or the south, well worth a visit. And here's a few pictures of some of the fish that's been caught over the last couple of months. I'll go to a proper intro in a minute, but um, just have a look at some of these and it's 15 quid a day to fish it. I can't praise it enough guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. I'm out at Scout Dyke Reservoir which is run by the Parsley Trout Club. Um, I'll leave a description of the location, uh, their Facebook page and their website. Again it's about £15 to fish here, 8 while 8, or if in an afternoon, 2 while 8, it's about a tenner. It's a good run club. I came here uh, in April with Ross, hi Ross if you're watching. We had a good day, uh, to, it's looking good. Guy over to my right has already had a fish whilst I've been stood here. And a guy over to my left has also had a fish while I've been stood here. Water level is way down. Um, where I'm stood now, um, the water was well above my head last time I was here. So, lower water, four fish, or should I say the fish would be more concentrated. I've just been told by one of the bailiffs that they'd put over four ton of fish in here a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Speak to you later, guys. Well, I used a mixture of flies today, um, all on a floating line. I had a Sunray Pro line with me. So, first thing I started off on, just for a bit of fun, was a chamois worm under a bung and cast it out. Nice long leader. Again, chamois worm was about two foot under the bung and just let it drift about. There weren't much of a wind actually, it's quite still throughout the whole reservoir. But it wasn't long before the fish took it. Uh, I think I did say in one of my videos that um, there was a brown trout, the not. This one was a rainbow. Hard fighting little fish these are. They do drag you around. Um, again, on this waterfront here, if, if you do come here and it's low water, put some wellies on. Because even if you were to step out a little bit here, it's quite muddy and you'll soon get up to your knees and it drops off very quickly as I said in the intro where I'm stood now I couldn't have stood there um, when I visited in April because the water was way up the bank I would have been well underwater head and everything but anyway nice little fish to start off with oh no it's in <coughs> So I stayed on the same uh, Sunray line and decided to put on a Fritz gold hag with a tail. I was speaking to one of the bailiffs when I was booking in and he was saying uh, he'd been using a very small black Fritz type fly with a marabou tail and he just said cast it out and just twitch it back. Don't strip it or anything like that, just twitch it back. So it was subsurface. Um, the bead would have took it down a couple of inch but I kept a tight line on it it was on about a 12 foot leader and I just tweaked it back and tweaked it back now it would have been over some depth of water to start with but as it came in uh, the bank is quite steep in that area as I've said and as it got about a rod length out I just gently hung it and just let it slowly come out of the water and before it got out of the water fish took it which you'll see in a minute but anyway that was a good little fish from a tip from one of the bailiffs so ask you guys when you arrive there guys what are fishing what's the best thing to use if you're a first timer that is here we go that was just on right in there side of the map and there we go guys, there's another little brownie from Scout Dyke Reservoir, let's put him back, again let's let that come all the way into the edge and then it just took. I think it's a good place to bring your family, especially if they don't fish, because you bring your fishing rod, you go down on the bank and they can have a good wander around the reservoir. Give them some binoculars because there's an abundance of wildlife um, things to look at. 
Anyway, it's an excuse. I've been seeing groups of fish about three or four rod lengths out on the surface, breaking the surface. They weren't exactly sipping or going things. They seemed to be chasing something. That's why I put the pin fry on. So got it out there as far as I could. Just let it settle a little bit and then started stripping back and bang. One went for it, but I don't think I struck into it good enough because it was off within a moment. Oh, nearly, nearly. Went back to the Fritz egg with a gold head, um, cast it out, brought it back in, and literally probably two or three pulls into the cast, fish took it again. And it happened to be a nice little blue trout. And again, it ragged me around the, the place, darting up and down. They're only about a pound and a half, two pound, but they move all over the place. They're not sluggish at all. They're quite agile and fit, these fish. Again, all these fish I caught, I put back in. I don't eat as such, and all my flies are barbless. There's not just a rainbow in here, there's actually brown and blue trout. And as you see from the picture at the beginning, there's some big coarse fish in here, some very big perch. So don't be surprised if you catch one, if you're using um, a lure on your fly line. Don't think you've lost your sound on your TV or your, your PC or phone. This video clip actually didn't have any sound on it. I'm going to have to investigate it because it's started to happen uh, a few more times actually when I'm going and using the GoPro. It happened on the river not too long ago. Well, that's the end of the day here at Scout Dyke Reservoir. Just heading back home. It's open till the beginning of December, <coughs> so I think the, well, the end of November is going to be your last day to fish it. Members have got till New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve, I believe, and then it's shut till the beginning of March. But well worth a go. I've had five fish, landed three, and again, 15 quid. Can't go wrong, eight while eight. 2 o'clock in the afternoon till midnight, oh, sorry, till 8 o'clock, so tenner. But anyway, well worth a look. North of Sheffield, south of Huddersfield. Easy access. See you later, guys.